Why did God create hell? This is a very common question among believers and skeptics alike, and I will preface this video by saying that there are many people far more qualified than me to answer it, but I hope to be able to give you a concise answer so that you can be equipped to have a discussion on this topic should it ever come up and hopefully offer a different perspective if you've heard other commentary on this topic. So getting straight to the point, why did God create hell? Well, at the end of Matthew 25, we have this scene of Judgment Day and Jesus is talking about the fate of humans, but we get a glimpse into the purpose of this place that we know as hell. He says in verse 41, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Notice that even though he's talking to humans here, he says that the reason this place was originally prepared was so that the devil and his angels could be sent here as judgment for the rebellion. To make this as simple as possible, let's compare this passage to John 14. Starting in verse 1, Jesus says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, also believe in me. In my father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. We see the same language here of a place that is prepared by God. In Matthew 25, the lake of fire is prepared for the devil and his angels. In John 14, Jesus prepares a place for mankind where he will also be, namely heaven. So if heaven is prepared for mankind and hell is prepared for Satan and his angels, then why are people going to be sent to hell? Well, 2 Peter 2 says in paraphrase, if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but cast them into hell, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly and punish the ungodly. It seems that there's a theme here of loyalty, that it really comes down to whose side you're on. Romans 2.15 says, on that day, when according to my gospel, God judges the secrets of men by Jesus Christ. So the determining factor is not what you've done, even if you did things in God's name. For we know that some people on judgment day will talk about all the things they've done in God's name, but he'll still say, depart from me, for I never knew you. Titus 3, 5 through 7 says he saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ, our Savior. So that being justified by his grace, we might become heirs in accordance to the hope of eternal life. So through Jesus, we can gain access to eternal life. But for all those who remain apart from Christ, their fate is the opposite, eternal death. So back to the question of why God would create hell. One word, justice. God is not unjust and that he would let evildoers go unpunished. If a judge were to let a guilty criminal go without a sentence, you would call them unjust. You cannot say the same thing about God. For just as we have created a place called prison for those who break our laws, God has created hell for those who break his. And if you haven't already picked up on this, all of us have broken them. Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So if you think that God's unjust in sending people to hell, that simply reveals how flawed your idea of justice is compared to God who is perfect. The default position of most people is thinking that they deserve to go to heaven, but the truth is just the opposite. Like the prophet Isaiah says, all of us like sheep have gone astray. So by God sending his son to take the punishment for our sin, we have access to eternal life now. John 3 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God has given us a gift that we didn't deserve, and it's up to you to respond. Remember Jesus's words in Matthew 6 24, no one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one and love the other, or you'll be devoted to one to despise the other. So who is your master? And really the answer to that question is also the answer to where you will spend eternity. Hopefully what I've done in this video is not just help you to answer the question of why God created hell, but also use the conversation as an open door to share the good news of the gospel with those who are struggling with these questions. I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you found it helpful, check out my other videos and consider subscribing to the channel where I'll be releasing more Christian content like this on a weekly basis. If you want to support the ministry, you can leave a super chat or super thanks, even become a member on a monthly basis. And if you check out the link in the comments for the Patreon, that's a place you can go to gain exclusive access to content I won't be posting on YouTube, also a weekly Zoom Bible study and early releases. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.